Rebbe RB, is a Yiddish word derived from the Hebrew word rabbi, which means master, teacher, or mentor. Like the title rabbi, it refers to teachers of Torah or leaders of Jewry. In common parlance of modern times, the term the Rebbe is often used specifically by Hasidim to refer to the leader of their Hasidic movement. Terminology and origin the Yiddish term Rebbe comes from the Hebrew word Rabbi, meaning, my master, which is the way a student would address a master of Torah. It was an honorific originally given to those who had smisha in the Pharisaic and Talmudic era. Since vowels were not written at the time, it is impossible to know historically whether it was pronounced Rabbi or Rabbi. The English word rabbi comes directly from this form. In Yiddish, the word became rebbe, now commonly spelled rebbe. The word master rav, av, literally means great one. The sages of the Mishnah known as the Tanaim, from the first and second centuries of the common era, were known by the title rabbi. Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi, the leader of Jewry in Mishnah each times, was simply called rabbi, as being the rabbi par excellence of his generation. The sages of the Talmud known as the Amoraim, from the 3rd, 4th and early 5th centuries, those born in the land of Israel, are called Rabbi, those born in the diaspora are known by the title Rav. Usage. Today, Rabbi is used in the following ways. Rabbi, a teacher of Torah, yeshiva students or cheddar students, when talking to their teacher, would address him with the honorific Rebbe, as the Yiddish-German equivalent to the Hebrew word Rabbi, personal mentor and teacher, a person's main Rosh Yeshiva, yeshiva teacher or mentor who teaches him or her Talmud and Torah and gives religious guidance, is referred to as Rebbe, also as an equivalent to the term Rabbi. Spiritual leader, the spiritual head of a Hasidic movement is called a Rebbe. His followers would address him as the Rebbe or refer to him when speaking to others as the Rebbe or my Rebbe. He is referred to by others as the Rebbe of a particular Hasidute. In Hebrew, a Hasidic Rebbe is often referred to as an Admor, which is an abbreviation for Adani Nu, More Nu, Verabba Nu. In writing, this title is placed before the name of the Hasidut, as in Admor of Bells, while the title Rebbe comes after the name of the Hasidut when used as an adjective, as in Lubavitcher Rebbe, Amshin Eber Rebbe, and every Rebbe of every Hasidic dynasty. In the Litvish world, when not referring to a Hasidic Rebbe, the word can be pronounced Rebbe. Sephardic Jews can pronounce it as Ribi. The Lubavitcher Hasidim have a tradition that the Hebrew letters that make up the word Rebbe are also an acronym for Rosh Bnei Yisrael, meaning a spiritual head of the children of Israel. Disambiguation. In general an ordinary communal rabbi, or Rebbe, in Yiddish, is sometimes distinct from a Rav, who is a more authoritative halakhic decider. A significant function of a Rav is to answer questions of halakha, but he is not as authoritative as a posik. The short form, Reb, is an honorific for Orthodox Jewish men, who are most likely to have profound knowledge of the Talmud and Torah, as opposed to Reconstructionist, Reform or Conservative Judaism. Originally, this title was added to the names of Jews at the time of the schism with the Karaite sect. As a sign of loyalty to the original rabbinic tradition, known today as Orthodox Judaism, Hasidism as a rule, among Hasidim, Rebbe is referred to in Hebrew as Admor, an abbreviation for Hebrew, Adani Nu More Nu Virubianu, meaning, our master, our teacher, and our rabbi, which is now the modern Hebrew word in Israel for Rebbe. Hasidim use the term Rebbe also in a more elevated manner to denote someone that they perceive not only as the religious leader or nasi of their congregation, but as their spiritual advisor and mentor. The Rebbe, or my Rebbe, in this sense is a Ravel Rabbi whose views and advice are accepted not only on issues of religious law and practice, but in all arenas of life, including political and social issues. Sometimes a Hasid has a Rebbe as his spiritual guide and an additional Rav for rulings on issues of Halakha. 
Sprouting Hasidim use the concept of a rubber in the simple sense of rabbi, as the Yiddish-German equivalent to the Hebrew word rabbi, abbey. For example, I will ask my rebbe, Rabbi Plony, for advice about this personal matter, the Hasidic rebbe. A Hasidic rebbe is generally taken to mean a great leader of a Hasidic dynasty, also referred to as Grand Rabbi in English or an ADMOR, a Hebrew acronym for Adoninu Moreinu Varabinu. Outside of Hasidic circles the term Grand Rabbi has been used to refer to a rabbi with a higher spiritual status. The practice became widespread in America in the early 1900s when Hasidic rabbis began to emigrate to the United States and was derived from the German Gross Rabbiner. Rabbi Israel Baal Shem Tov, the founder of Hasidism, is regarded by Hasidim as the first Hasidic Rebbe. During his lifetime he was referred to mainly as the Holy, rather than as Rebbe, and his disciples were Majidim, or preachers such as the Majid of Chernobyl or the Majid of Mezrish. The first Rebbe to be known as such was the Baal Shem Tov's grandson, Rabbi Baruch of Mezhibosh, who was referred to as the Rebbe during his lifetime. After him, those who rose to positions of leadership and their successors began to be called Rebbe. The title gradually came to suggest a higher spiritual status. Each Hasidic group refers to its leader as the Rebbe. Hannah Rachel Verber Macker, also known as the Maiden of Lidmai or the Lidmira Moid, was the only female Rebbe in the history of the Hasidic movement. She lived in the 19th century in Ukraine and Israel. Relationship of Hasidim to their Rebbe Rebbe is Zadik according to Maimonides. A Zadik is one whose merit surpasses his, her, iniquity and every person can reach the level of Azadik. According to the Tanya, Azadik has no evil inclination, and only a select few predestined to attain this level can attain it. According to Kabbalah, the world is sustained on the shoulders of Zadikim Nistrim, divinely predestined exceptionally righteous people in a generation. Nobody has knowledge about who was such Azadik. Even one of these exceptionally righteous people would not know that they really are such as Ardik. These righteous people's perception transcends the apparent boundaries of existence. However, a Hasidic Rebbe is generally said to be a righteous person, called a Zadik. Furthermore, a Rebbe is said to be able to affect divine providence, and a Rebbe is said to be able to see the future, or at least have strong insight into the life and trials of another. As a result, Hasidim in some Hasidic circles seek their Rebbe's advice for a variety of concerns, spiritual, physical, and even business concerns. Furthermore, many people seek the blessing of a rubber for anything from minor physical troubles to grand spiritual concerns. Many famous and common stories of a rubber's intervention involve women who successfully seek a rubber's blessing for fertility so that they can conceive after having been barren for many years. Zadi Kador In some movements the Hasidim believe that their rubber is the Zadi Kador and would regard any thought that detracts from his. Perfection and holiness is heresy. Other sects lessen this idealization to some degree or another. Since many rebbes are sons-in-law or students of other rebbes, it makes sense that they would view themselves as subordinate to those other rebbes. Nonetheless, their Hasidim remain loyal to them because of their special loyalty, a family connection, or a belief that a specific Zadik or Nasi had or connects best with one's soul. For example, the Kosovo rubber makes yearly pilgrimages to the Tosha rubber. Nonetheless, his followers remain very loyal to him. Rebbe is conduit unlike rabbis or non-Hasidic rubbers in other Jewish movements. Hasidic Judaism considers a Hasidic Rebbe to be a conduit between Jews and God. On the basis of traditional Kabbalistic concepts and terminology, Hasidic philosophy bridged Devekut, a Jewish concept referring to closeness to God, to the Hasidic Rebbe, embodying and channeling the divine flow of blessing to the world. Because creation is dependent on the continuous flow of divine life force, without which it would revert to nothingness. 
Hasidic followers of a rubber given a rubber's physical awareness of God and the rubber's transcendent perception of godliness. Many Hasidim take special care to observe the specific and sometimes minute practices of their Rebbe. Even things that seem mundane may nonetheless be seen by Hasidim as incredibly significant. For example, Lubavitcher Hasidim frequently shaped their fedoras to match the way that the Lubavitcher Rebbe shaped his hat which was more flat than many others. Many scare Hasidim wear their payos identical to those of the scare Rebbe. While Hasidim do not always follow the specific practices of their Rebbe, the Rebbe is able to create practices that may be specific and unique to his Hasidim. For example, Rabbi Aaron Roth, the first Rebbe of Shomer Aminim, told his Hasidim to pause frequently while eating their meals in order to keep them from overindulging. A Hasid will usually love his Rebbe like a close family member, if not more so. The degree and nature of this belief varies, however, depending on the movement. Functions of a Hasidic Rebbe There are some functions which are exclusively the domain of Hasidic Rebbes. Reading Kavat Latch, running a tish or leading a farbrengen. Others are not exclusive to Hasidic Rebbes, but are often an important part of their role. Participating in family celebrations of the Hasidim, such as weddings and brisim, performing mitzvahs, etc., in the presence of their Hasidim, such as kindling the Hanukkah lights and drawing water with which to bake matzahs, leading the prayers on Shabbos, holy days, and other special occasions, delivering learned or inspirational discourses, build educational, social and religious institutions. Kavat Lache Rebbe has times when Hasidim may come for a private audience. A Kavitel is a note with the name of the petitioner and a short request for which the Rebbe is asked to pray. Hasidim believe that Rebbe is read supernaturally, between the lines, of a Kavitel. And in every Hasidic movement there are numerous anecdotes relating how the Rebbe saw things that were not written in the Kavitel. In most Hasidic groups, the Kavitel is written by the Rebbe's Gabe. However sometimes the petitioner writes it on his own. Usually, but with some exceptions, a pidion of cash is customarily handed to the Rebbe under the Kavitel. But this is not obligatory. This is considered to be the conduit through which the blessing is given, and a redemption for the soul of the petitioner. It is also customary to tip the gabe, although this too is not obligatory. Tish and Farbrengen A Rebbe conducts a Tish or a Farbrengen, a communal festive meal with highly mystical overtones, on Shabbat and other occasions. At a tish, the Rebbe distributes shirayim to the Hasidim seated at or gathered round the table. When a gathering similar to a tish is led by a rabbi who is not a Rebbe, it can be referred to as a botter or shevisarkim.